Hello, I'm Sue Shapcott and today I'm in Madison, Wisconsin and I'm going to talk about how your left wrist position at the top of your backswing can affect the club face which can affect the ball flight that you're getting. Okay, so before I start talking about the left wrist position at the top of the backswing, then there's going to be a caveat to this. And that is that your grip when you're setting up is in a neutral position. Okay, so we're going to make an assumption that your grip is neutral. If it's not neutral, then, you know, you can take some of this with a, a grain of salt because you may have two things balancing each other out. But let's assume that your grip is neutral and how we can use the left wrist position to correct any ball flight issues that you have. Okay, so by far the most common mistake that I see at the top of the backswing is for this left wrist to be cupped. And when the left wrist is cupped, the club face opens up. And if the club face opens up, then you've got more chance of it staying open and being open at impact and slicing the ball. And so if I see someone slice and I see that their left wrist is cupped at the top of the swing, then that's a great tool that I can use to straighten out their ball flight. So if my wrist is cupped at the top of my swing, then the ball is going to tend to slice to the right. Now the opposite is true. If the grip is neutral and at the top of the back swing, the left wrist is bowed, then the club face is closed. And so if it's closed at the top of the backswing, unless I make some kind of compensation, then the club face can be closed to impact and hook the ball. And, you know, you will see some really good players with the left wrist bowed at the top of the backswing. Uh, they don't hook it because they have a, a compensation for it. But if you are hooking the ball and you want to try to fix it, then checking that your left wrist isn't bowed is a good thing that you can do to fix it. So left wrist bowed, club face closed, and the board is going to hook to the left. Now, what should the left wrist be like at the top of the backswing? And again, assuming that the grip is neutral to begin with, then at the top of the backswing, you want to feel that the back of that left hand and forearm is flat. So it's flush there. So from this angle, I've still got an angle between my arm and the shaft of the club, but as I'm making my backswing, then I'm getting the back of that hand and forearm flat, and that's going to maximize my chances of getting the club face square at the top of the backswing and square at impact. So let's have a go at that. Okay, so there's three ways that the left wrist can be at the top of the backswing. It can be cupped, which is going to give you a tendency to slice the ball. It can be bowed, which can give you a tendency to hook the ball. And it can be flat, which is as long as your grip is neutral at the setup position, that's going to uh, give you more likelihood of the club face being square at the top of the backswing and at impact. Anyway, if you're having directional issues, then it's certainly worth checking what your left wrist is doing at the top of the backswing because it can give you a nice easy fix to uh, controlling the ball flight. Um, it's certainly worth looking at. So thanks very much for watching. Please check out some of our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.